Southwest Airlines forced to cancel flights this week, causing major delays and a whole lot of headaches for travelers. The airline tried to quickly recover from technology problems that started earlier this week. But in the meantime, a lot of passengers left stranded. Our Alexis Wainwright joining us live from the Clinton National Airport. Alexis, do we know yet how many of those flights were actually canceled? Yeah, well, Laura, just yesterday, Southwest Airlines canceled nearly 400 flights and more than a thousand were delayed. Now, tonight I spoke with one family who was stranded more than 300 miles away from home. I can't describe how great it feels to be home. Laura Allman is happy to be back home in Little Rock Thursday. From vacation, you always feel good coming home, um, but this coming home was very different. Almond and her family had quite the journey from Cancun, Mexico to the natural state after Southwest Airlines had to halt operations over a computer glitch. We get into St. Louis and we just think we've made it. It's all good. We're great. But then their flight to Little Rock was canceled and the system went down again. Almond says she tried getting a rental car and some even tried getting a U-Haul, but that didn't work either. She said she wasn't offered a refund or even a hotel. She was eventually offered a new flight three days out. Thankfully, after taking her story to Facebook, her dog sitter drove to St. Louis and picked her family up Wednesday. It was the biggest weight off of my shoulders. Um, to know that we were going to be what I called rescued. Since then, a Southwest spokesperson says the airline fixed the network connectivity issue, but Almond's still waiting for a response from the airline. We got home yesterday, bags are packed, we're back at work, and I'm still not done with this trip. And tonight, Almond says that she's frustrated because she feels no remorse from the airline and especially after them going online and promoting an anniversary sale. Now, we also reached out to the airline, but we haven't heard anything back just yet. Reporting live tonight in Little Rock, Alexis Wainwright, KRK4 News.